Okay, so we just melted our Hershey's chocolate. All right, now that we sprayed our cookie cutters, I'm gonna go ahead and grab our melted chocolate and we are gonna just cut one corner off so that we can use that as a little opening to fill up our cookie cutters. It doesn't need to be perfect because we will put something on top to make it look gorgeous. So we're just squeezing that chocolate right into our greased cookie cutters. Metal ones work best for this because the heat won't ruin or bend, bend the shape of the cookie cutter. This is gonna turn into a delicious and refreshing summer treat. So let's go ahead and use the rest of this chocolate right in the heart. So one bar is good for about four average cookie cutters. All right, so now I'm gonna grab some raspberries and I did wash these and I'm gonna go ahead and just place them right in the butterfly. And as I do that, I push that chocolate to the edge of the cookie cutter so that it forms to that butterfly shape. So this is gonna help get that chocolate from edge to edge and it's gonna make a delicious little snack. Just like this, let's quickly fill up the whole cookie cutter with raspberries so that we have a beautiful raspberry chocolate. And I use milk chocolate, but you can use dark chocolate, white chocolate, candy melts, whatever you like. All right, let's go ahead and fill up the flour with raspberries as well. But don't you worry, I have another delicious topping waiting for those other two cookie cutters. That's gonna be probably a fan favorite for most. Okay, so just use these raspberries to push that cookie, that chocolate to the edge of the cookie cutter. One less dish to use. You don't have to use a spatula to do it. Okay. And it's okay if it starts to leak out a little bit because the cookie cutter will cut out any chocolate that leaks. Beautiful. Okay, now that we have two raspberry chocolates, of course we're gonna do strawberry. And I just cut these super thin and small so that they would fit on the edges of my cookie cutter. And just quickly place them in just like this. Try to be graceful and put them with intention, but you know what, some of these cookie cutters have weird, funny shapes, so just plop them in there and they'll be good regardless. Okay, that looks good. All right, now this heart is gonna be my personal favorite because who doesn't love hearts? I mean, gotta love hearts. Okay. All right, so we have all of our fruit here. Now I did melt another chocolate bar. Go ahead and cut a super, super tiny little hole because we just wanna do a nice little drizzle. That might've even been too big. Drizzle right on top of those raspberries. Oh, there we go, now we got drizzle. Beautiful. It's okay if it gets on the cookie cutter because we wanna make sure we get thin drizzles on there. So the higher you go, the better looking drizzle you get. Perfect. Oh, these are turning out so cute. And that drizzle is optional. If you liked it with just the fruit on top, do it your way. These are completely customizable. Now for the final product, which I'm only gonna put on two, just in case someone's allergic to nuts, I have some sliced almonds and I'm gonna put some on the star. Oh yeah. And I just love a good sliced almond because it's not chunky. It won't add too much texture to these, but it will give a good crunch. And then I'm gonna put some on the flour. Ooh, these are gonna turn out so yummy. Okay, now that we got our 
almonds on there. These are ready for the fridge. These are gonna be in the fridge for at least one hour. Oh my, I am too excited to try these. Okay, so these are, these were put on wax paper. So we should be able to just lift up the wax paper and grab our chocolate. Oh yeah, that's gonna be delicious. And then bring it to your plate and just kind of press on the sides to wiggle it out. It's already coming off perfect. And it's not breaking because we're being careful. And we sprayed our cookie cutters. Look how cute. And you can just clean up that little bit of chocolate. It should just come right off the sides. How cute. Oh my, the cutest little chocolate desserts. These came out way better than I expected. Popped out all those cookie cutters so easy. I'm gonna go ahead and try this butterfly because it looks super cute. Now you do wanna store these in the fridge if you end up making them because that chocolate is gonna melt because it's 90 degrees today. But let's give it a try. Mm. That. So good.